So guys, today we're gonna be herping in one of the areas of Lebanon where two of the rarest reptiles live during a short period of the year. Only during the warm season, May till September maybe. It's around 2100 meters above sea level here. And some cool snakes and lizards inhabit these areas. We came in the early morning in hope to find some of these creatures. The area is really promising, the weather is good. There is a light breeze. Try to check every corner, every burrow. Snakes love these grasses to sit in. And it's a good time for them to tan before it gets too hot during the day. So there's this juicy female grasshopper of some kind. You can see it's heavily built to survive the cold weather here and the cold nights. And it's probably one of the food sources for the lizards and maybe probably for baby vipers. There's a skink over there. Try to get slowly to it. You can see it sitting there in the grass. It's one of the common skinks here in Lebanon. See? It's just sitting there chilling and staring at me. Here you go. Good boy. Stay there. This is the brittled Mabuya. They're pretty common in Lebanon. They live almost everywhere. They have these cute faces and sausage-like bodies. They're mainly insectivores and they give birth to live babies instead of laying eggs. So this one is this is a brave one. Look how close we can get to him. So guys, this is the first mountain viper for the day. It's a juvenile that was born probably last year, last season. It's pretty small and uh, it's one of the three highly venomous species in Lebanon by the way. Uh, this one is different from the others that it gives live birth instead of laying eggs. This one's still dirty probably from the hibernation will shed and become much brighter and more contrasted. And here's another bigger Montevipera Bormulleri or Lebanon Mountain Viper. This one is much more colorful, cleaner, probably shed lately. As you can see it's pretty calm. They, like all other snakes they will not attack unless provoked. So whenever I touch it now it will start striking and all but as long as I'm keeping a safe distance, it's just sitting there watching me, hoping I walk away. And that's what I'll do. Alright, so now we're gonna let go of the vipers we found this morning. Mark will put it back where exactly where it was found. So let's do it. Come on baby. Off you go buddy. Here it goes. And it crawls back to the safety in the shade under the bush. You can see it doesn't exactly disappear, but at least the snake thinks it's safe. No. Uh, the also, interesting fact about these vipers is that they are ambush predators. They sit in a corner somewhere near a rock or a bush, and they use their yellowish tail tip that you can see here to lure prey like lizards. They move it the tail uh, like a worm or an insect and lizards get attracted to it that's how they catch most of their prey they don't chase prey like whip snakes or uh, racers okay and now we're gonna let this baby go it's excited to return back Now we finished taking pictures of the two vipers we found and we're gonna change our herping spot to look for more vipers maybe. 
chance of finding bigger ones and it was a promising morning so I believe there's a good chance we find more reptiles. Here guys I managed to catch a skink for you. You can see how colorful they are. They have this pattern of lines and spots on their backs. It helps them camouflage in the grass. Their bellies are unicolored. And they go around here chasing insects and eating. And you see them almost every step you take. These guys, as I told you before, unlike most lizard species, they give birth to live babies, just like the mountain vipers, especially that the conditions here in the mountains are not that good and the nights are cold, so laying eggs won't be that practical. So we're still looking in this second location. This one is pretty wet. You can see all these spawns created from the melting snow. <clears throat> These are actually places for green toads to be <coughs> Check eggs, this out, guys. This is a chain of toad eggs. Green toad. They're very common around here as well. They lay hundreds and hundreds of eggs. You can see this chain going all the way over there. These small circles are the eggs. They're covered with a slimy uh, protective layer that keeps them safe from the surrounding until they form and become tadpoles. Check this out guys. These are older tadpoles they hatched earlier this year. They're quite bigger. And this is a female that died while laying eggs. This is another female. Became source of food for tadpoles. They usually die when multiple males jump on them to mate and end up drowning them. So earlier guys I showed you the eggs and the tadpoles of this toad. Here you can see it. It's Buffetus variabilis or the green toad. They're pretty common here. They're hiding under this pile of trash for shade. You can see another one around here. We'll let them go and put it back so they can hide in peace. Look at these, wow. You can see couples of toads mating and laying eggs. Look here, this couple here under the underwater, you can see the eggs coming out of the female while the male fertilizing them. And look at these, you can see how bright the male is comparing to the female. There's another couple underwater there, two couples close to each other. Here you go. And they, here they dive again. And look what we found now guys, it's actually female. You can see the color is not that bright and contrasted as the male. The other one had darker spots and everything. And this one is much thicker, could be gravid as well. It's not a big one, but it is an adult. And it's pretty calm compared to other snake species. Like usually females are quite aggressive in whip snakes and other most other species. But this one is like calm, it didn't try biting or barely hissing at all. Amazing snake, pretty cool. It was a great day and three vipers and lots of toads.